Hi, Erica and Cassie. I just wanted to show you guys the workflow and give a quick exp explanation um, so just to kind of tie you guys into the process. Um, so here is the workflow I've been working on. And you can see this is information, purchase order approval, three tiers under 150K, um, automatic approval over slash equal to 50K or under 50K, get regional warehouse approval over 100K approved from Wild Wolf and George Warren County. And then there's accounting approval, accounting checks for amount discrepancies if correct. They approve and continue on to the vendor bill process if they direct the original purchase request is notified to correct the purchase order. Right, and so if you guys want to know how to get here, you go to the center tab up here in administrator mode, customization, workflow, and then workflows, and that's how you jump into it. And this would be here, right? And so I just kind of want to show you the process. So in here, I'm essentially saying, I'm adding the button that says submit for approvals. The submit for approval button is everything that moves to the next stage of the process. You can see this is stipulated based off the submit for approvals. This is stipulated based off the submit for approvals. And then this is also stipulated for the submit for approvals. And you'll notice that if the total is amount is under 50,000, it'll go to automatically warehouse approve. And this has the approval status of approved, which will allow them to receive the goods, right? But if the amount is over 50,000, over or equal to 50,000, but under 100,000, it goes to regional approval. And uh, and it's only done. It's only executed by the submit for approval button here, and you can see this is all the stuff that pops up. Um, the approve button pops up. It only pops up for Vale Angel, William White, Robert Wolf, George Moore, Bruce Wolf, and Bruce Bain. Uh, Bruce Bo Wolf and Bruce Bain are the names that I added um, to employees. That I added with their own unique email logins. Um, just to symbolize the two additional tiers of uh, of the amount approvals, right? I also added in the um, the button's going to show up to anyone that has the administrator role. I can also take that away. Um, I just added that now because it was it was for ease of use during the testing process. However, some some clients like that and some clients don't. Just let me know. Give me your opinion, right? And then I did the more or less the same here. So that's the regional approval. Now the manager approval, this is over 50,000. I mean, this is over 100,000. You can see I also added the approve button. It only shows up for George Moore, Robert Wolf, Bruce Brain, or user role admin. And it's the same with the direct record. And it's also locked, so no changes can happen, right? And I did the same here, that it's locked, so there's no changes can happen. And I also set it up on both of these that um, Vail Angel is notified when the condition, when the location is equal to anything that was in California. So I put Rockland, there were two Rockland warehouses, so I put both of them, I put the San Diego, the Riverside, the Bakersfield, the Fresno, and the Chico. And I did the same thing for William White involving the Texas warehouse, Dallas warehouse, and Houston warehouse, right? And because they correspond both, they approve based off their region. Uh, however, the buttons show up for either of them, so that, so either of them can approve it as well. All right, I can change it up so the approve button only shows up for if if it's a region within if it's a warehouse within their region. Just let me know. Um, right now, I have a setup that either regional managers can approve them. The next level is the manager approval. George Moore will get a notification as well as Wild Wolf notification. I didn't put any conditions on it because it seemed like as if both are able to approve and there's no preference. And the reject and the approve and reject button is happening as well right here, right? And it's th as the same people that I mentioned to you before, but the only additional aspect of it is that um, it is being. Uh, it's, it has a higher teal than it's being locked, right? But then if it's under 50,000, it automatically goes to the warehouse approval, right? And it will be automatically stated approved, which will be approved, right? Once it hits that, it will go to the next level, which is the accounting approval. And the approval button will, is going to show up for anyone that has the administrator role, the accounting manager role, the controller role, the purchasing AP role, the senior accountant role. And the same goes for reject. And once they approve it, 
Um, right now, I have the build button taken away, and they have to approve it in order for the build button to happen. After once it's finally in the final approval stage, the build button will pop up. And then I also set up the reject features that if it is rejected, based off the, re it will go into here. It's going to change the status to rejected, and it's going to notify the original IEI requester, and then add a button for the sub resubmit for approvals, which when they press the resubmit for approval, depending on the amount. So if they hit resubmit for approval, if it's over 50,000, but under 100,000, go back to the regional approval. If it is over 100,000, it will go over to the manager approval. And then if it's under 50,000, it will go back over here to the warehouse approval. All right. All right, so that is a quick explanation of the workflow. Please, uh, right now, I, ha I think the biggest item is that I have the buttons showing up for the administrator. Um, so you just have to let me know if you would like me to take those off um, and want me to do more just role restrictive. Uh, all right, thank you.